I'm making a horror game where you fight an evil spider dream named Charles. But there are a lot of things about the game that I haven't told you. Over the past four videos in this series, I've told you all about how Choo Choo Charles is an open world horror game where you navigate an island in an old train, upgrading over time by looting and completing missions, and eventually attempt to kill Charles. But you all have been really curious about some of the more specific details, so let me get straight into answering some of those questions. Can you make a chicken? Okay, I don't even know what you guys mean by that question. It honestly doesn't make sense to me, but whatever it is. Whatever. Why is there a couch blockading your doorway? Okay, if, if you're talking about my casual doorstop, I don't know what to tell you. It's just a it's a doorstop. Everybody has them. You guys keep asking about it, though, so maybe I'll explain how doors work to you after I get through some of these more serious questions. Have you heard of today's sponsor, NordVPN? You know, it's funny you ask, because I have heard of NordVPN, and they are the sponsor of today's video. And as you can see, I have traveled through time and space just to record this sponsorship, so you better listen up, because you know it's going to be fantastic. NordVPN is a super user-friendly and intuitive VPN, and and if you have no clue what NordVPN does, that would be insane because they are literally everywhere at this point. It's basically a security tool that you can download on your computer or phone from the link in the description, and it'll help keep you safe when you're doing basically anything online. Personally, I use it when I'm playing online multiplayer games so that I can be protected against any potential DDoSing threats, but you can also use it to access games, TV shows, or movies that aren't normally available in your country. And with one single account, you can actually download it and use it on six different devices. You, know, you could download it on your computer, your laptop, your phone, your cat's computer, your cat's laptop, your cat's phone. So if you've been thinking about getting a VPN of some sort to kind of up your security when you're doing anything online, be sure to check out NordVPN from the link in the description, specifically that link down there. That way Nord knows that I sent you and then they won't get mad at me for being crappy at marketing products. That's all. Thank you, Nord, for the sponsorship. And let's hop right back into some other questions. Have you considered adding multiplayer? Uh, this is like the most asked question that I get ever, and unfortunately I can't. The game is designed and programmed for single player only, and since it's already like halfway done, trying to add multiplayer to this single player game it would be like trying to take a motorcycle and turn it into a, an eight-seater van. Like, it's just, they're, they're different things. It's not going to be multiplayer. It's just going to be a single player game. Will the game have DLC later after it launches? Maybe. I don't have any plans for DLC, but... It could happen. How are you doing, man? You doing all right? That's good. Love the content, my dude. Have a great day. Go pet your cat. My cat is dead, actually. Uh, oh, and by the way, on, on that happy note, uh, I'm going to be hiding some Steam keys for the game throughout this video, so just keep an eye out. Can you add a feature where Charles will run on the rails? I was actually planning on doing this originally, but in the AI video, when I was working on putting it, everything together, I just realized it's way more complicated than it sounds, so I just scrapped it. What is the name of Charles the Train, and what vehicle is he? How much will the game cost when it's released? I'm not 100% sure yet, but as it's continued to develop, I'm probably going to end up pricing it around 15 to $20, probably somewhere in that range. What was your inspiration for making the game? Money fat stacks of cash. Are we going to be able to color our train or is it just yellow? You might be able to. I don't know. It's been requested a lot. So if I have time, I might add that. How many missions will there be? Right now I'm aiming to start with 20 missions. There's going to be three required missions, three missions to get the different weapons, and then a bunch of scattered side missions that you can complete just to get scraps. Will there be collectibles and secrets? Yes. Lots. Are there going to be boss battles and missions? No, the only boss is Charles. That's it. Are you boarding up your door to stop Charles from coming in? I, another one of these. I, it's, it's a door stop. I'm, I'm, I'll get to that later, okay? If you're driving on the tracks and Charles is coming towards you and you run into him, what happens? Right now, you just clip through him and then he starts running behind you. It's not game breaking or anything and I don't have any plans to change it yet, but if it's heavily requested that it gets changed later on, Maybe I will. And the only reason that I'm not really worried about it is just because it doesn't happen that often. Are you going to implement jump scares? Uh, not exactly. Basically, if you randomly go around a corner and Charles just happens to be there, then I guess you got jump scared. But there's no scripted jump scares. Will there be cutscenes and is there any kind of ending message for the players? There's not really anything in the way of cutscenes where the camera is actually taken over and goes all cinematic mode or anything like that. And I'm not entirely sure what the ending is going to be like quite yet so 
we'll get back to you on that. Are you using Unreal Engine 5 for Choo Choo Charles? No, I'm using Unreal Engine 4. I have made some Unreal Engine 5 tutorials though, because Unreal Engine 4 and 5 are really similar, but I'm using Unreal Engine 4 for Choo Choo Charles. Why does the door barricade keep getting bigger? Who are you hiding from? How many war crimes did you commit? Three, but that has nothing to do with my door stuff. After Choo Choo Charles is done, are you gonna take a break or move on to some other projects? Once it's done and published, I'm probably gonna need to continue supporting it for at least a few months with updates and bug fixes and stuff like that. But after it's, you know, things have settled down, I'll probably take a little bit of a break and then eventually move on to working on some more games. I don't know what yet, but something. Do you like Bingus or Floppa better? I don't know much about these meme cats, but Bingus seems pretty cool. I love some of the face concept art that you showed off in your first devlog. Will there be an option to potentially change how Charles' face looks? Kind of, yeah. I actually did a small sort of collaboration with Mr. Moist Critical, Penguin Zero himself. He's a big YouTuber, you've probably heard of him. So he actually gave me the go-ahead to put his face on Charles, since his name is Charles, so we can have the, the real Choo Choo Charles. So there's an option in the game. You hit F12, and then you click a button that says Activate Moist, and then you can fight Choo Choo Charles White. Who are you trying to keep? out of your house and do you climb in and out through the window? It's just a door stop. How long is the game going to be? I think if you were speed running and you were really, really good at it, it's probably gonna be possible to beat it in like under a half hour. But if you're doing a, a more casual, normal playthrough, I'm guessing probably around three, four hours. And if you're trying to 100% the game, find all the secrets, all the missions, all that stuff, it could probably be as much as Six, seven, eight, ten. I don't really know. Yet. Are you gonna add original music composed specifically for the game? Yes. Uh, later on in development, not right now. Okay, don't message me right now if you're a musician. I'm not going to respond. Just saying, I'm not looking for a musician right now. But later on in development, I am going to find somebody to do music for the game. How fast is Charles? You know, Charles is actually very, very proud of his speed. He's been training to to compete against uh, the great Usain Bolt. So I'm just gonna let uh, him answer that question himself. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Speaking of fast stuff, let's do a quick lightning round here. Do you plan on adding the ability to punch children? No. Does Charles give good hugs? No. A feature where you can join the cult? N no. Give C Charles a mustache. No. <laughs> can you put hot dogs in the game? No. Yes. No. Wait. Is it at all possible to kill Charles? Yes, that's the entire point of the game. Choto Charles can eat soup? No. <laughs> can I pet the demon train? No, you, you cannot. Can we romance Charles? <laughs> the holy cupcake? No. You cannot. All right, end of end of lightning. We're, we're cutting it off there. Will there be any personal firearms that we can use to defend against the cultists? No, the only way currently to defend against cultists or any threat is with the guns on the train. I'm probably not going to add any like first person weapons that you carry around. I'd love to know how you feel about developing the game. Is it hard for you sometimes? What is your current stress level programming? The game isn't particularly difficult to make from a programming and technical standpoint. Like I'm not trying to do anything super crazy and out there. Like, so I know everything is technically possible to do. And so that part isn't that difficult. The biggest thing is just the large time commitment. Like it's gonna take a lot of time to get it done. Uh, so that's part, that part's a little bit uh, daunting, but you know, just keep on plugging away and eventually it'll, it'll get done. I really want to know what's with the barricade on your door. It just gets crazier every time. I said I was going to answer these questions later, okay? <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like I've mentioned it before. It's not that crazy. Like, it's pretty casual, small. It's pretty discreet. Are you going to do a really intricate storyline for the game? I wonder how much world building there will be. It's not really intricate, like it's not FNAF levels of intricate, but there is some lore and backstory that uh, can be uncovered by completing different missions and hunting the map for various secrets. Are you right or left-handed? I don't know why this matters, but I am right-handed. <laughs> Have you ever thought of making mobile games or maybe make a mobile build for the Funny Train game? I've made mobile games in the past that were really bad and I'm not gonna make any more mobile games anytime soon just because the market market is super saturated and incredibly competitive. And so partially because of that, and also just because I'm working on a, like a pretty large-ish scale, you know, open world game, I just don't really feel like I probably have the, the expertise to make 
that available for mobile. Can you add broken rails that have to be repaired for you to continue on your train? Maybe something similar to this. I've considered making it so that there's sometimes random debris on the track that you have to get out and clear, otherwise your train will get damaged when you run over it, but it's not a feature that I have any immediate plans of adding. Maybe something later on if I've got time. With all this attention you're getting, will you be able to live up to the height? Aren't you afraid your game will outgrow you in scope? This is something that I was originally a little bit scared of, but I think everything will probably be okay. A big goal in making videos like these is just to make sure that everybody has a realistic expectation of what this game is. I mean, like, it's not the next Cyberpunk, it's not the next Skyrim, it's an indie horror game. Like, it's not that spectacular. There is a spider train, which is pretty freaking epic, but it's not some crazy technical achievement that's going to advance humanity into the next steps of evolution or something. Gavin, question. Do you like pizza with pineapple? The whole the whole pineapple on, on pizza thing, it's, it's a conspiracy, I, I swear. The, the pineapple industry is out here trying to convince you that it's good with pizza, because how else, that, like, like when the heck else do you eat pineapple? Wait, do you, do you just eat pineapple out, out, out of a can? Or you just go and pick pineapples out of a can? It's a conspiracy. They're trying to trick you. How long did it take you to become a game developer? Did you do it right after college? Or has working with computers as a hobby helped you more as a programmer? So I started making games when I was 12, which was about eight years ago. I have not gone to college, and I've basically just taught myself through Google. Like, if you can make a Google search, then you can program a, a video game. It's, it's not that complicated. Where's the game going to be available to play? It's definitely going to be available for PC on Steam, possibly on Mac, possibly on console. Nothing's confirmed. Those are just other con uh, other platforms that I would like to be able to port the game to in the future. If I do port to those uh, those various platforms, it's probably going to be after the PC launch, but maybe, 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 maybe. I'm not confirming anything, but maybe. What's up with your door? Who or what are you? Okay, if anybody else asks this question, I will get a, a freaking chicken and I will send it to your house and it will break in through your door because you don't have a casual doorstop. It will peck your freaking eyes out. There should be hints around the map that tell something about Charles and his past. Yes, there are. There's a lot of stuff like that. So hunt carefully. Charles? Yeah. Will you add phases to Charles? Like when he's at half health, he'll turn scarier and get more moves. Dance moves? Yes, absolutely. Charles loves to, to boogie down and no, okay. Possibly. I'm not entirely sure, but I think there will be some uh, different phases and different attacks that he'll get as his health goes lower. Not entirely sure what those will be, how complicated they'll be. Maybe maybe he gets a, a jump ability. Maybe he just gets stronger and faster. I'm not entirely sure yet. Will there be merch? Yes, there definitely will. I'm currently working with some people to, to get some stuff coordinated for when the game launches. That's about all I'm gonna say for right now, but yes, th there's some cool stuff that we're working on. Is there gonna be a day and night cycle in the game? Nope, it's always night. What are you trying to keep out of- Okay, I'm getting the chicken, I swear. How difficult is it adding new features to the game now compared to when you started? Every feature you add to a game makes it exponentially more difficult to program. So in the beginning, it's really easy adding features. You can add stuff in like a couple days and it's still like, Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine. It works. But then once you've got like 10 mechanics and you need, you know, all these new features to interact with all these other mechanics and everything needs to work in unison, it gets way, way, way more complicated. So that's why I'm keeping all the mechanics simple. Choo Choo Charles versus Goku. Who wins? Choo Choo Charles, obviously. You didn't even need to ask. Do you sustain yourself only with YouTube and game dev? Also, has any publisher approached you for Choo Choo Charles? Um, yes. I make... All of my, well, most of my money comes from YouTube and from Udemy. A very small fraction of my income right now actually comes from game sales, which would be from like uh, my previous game, My Beautiful Paper Smile. And yes, I've had probably at least a hundred offers from publishers. It's just kind of ridiculous. How's life outside of working on the game and what do you do when you're not working on it? I, well, I, I work on the game, I sleep, and I watch YouTube. Occasionally I eat as well. I want to know when you're going to upload your next amazing devlog. Oh, wow. Well. Amazing. Quite honestly, I don't really know. That's partially why I'm making this Q&A video. Basically, I'm at the point in development where I've added all of the main mechanics. And at this point, all I really need to do is add a bunch of missions, do bug fixing and other really boring stuff. And no, like basically none of the rest of development is gonna be that interesting for devlog. So I'm not entirely sure what kind of content I'm gonna be making about it. I'll figure out something, but uh, 
I don't know what and I don't know when. Will you release a demo for Choo Choo Charles? Originally, I really wanted to, but I have since decided against it and I am not gonna have any kind of demo. Will there be unlockable achievements and trophies? Yes, there will be quite a few. I'm thinking you'll probably get an achievement every time that you complete a mission, as well as for various random secrets and puzzles that you find around the map. Is there an actual main quest line or is it all side quests? So there are three main missions that you need to complete to actually beat the game, but all the other missions are just optional side quests, basically, that uh, you can do to get more scraps, new weapons, and discover more about the story and lore of the game. Why you lock door? Okay, fine. We'll 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 go and address this. All right, you guys, you guys have been asking for it. Y you all are gonna feel so dumb when I show you how boring this is. <laughs> like I was saying, it's incredibly boring. Uh, if I just grab my wrench here, nothing crazy. No defrauding of the IRS. Got it. And then, as you'll see, when I open up my very normal door you'll you'll see very normal everything D do you guys feel like fools yet all right so before i uh, go to the last and probably the most important and most uh, interesting question that i've got i want to remind you that you can wishlist choo choo charles on steam right now it's currently the 40th most wishlisted game on all of Steam, and we're trying to get to number 35 right now because once we get to number 35, I'm gonna give away a bunch more Steam keys for the game. And also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. Charles freaking loves it. And I love big numbers, so I would love you forever. And so now, w without further ado, I, I present to you the most intellectually advanced question that I got and the most interesting answer you'll probably ever hear. How much cheese? Hello, Gavin from the future again. If you wanna ask me more questions and get more answers instantly, you can go and follow me on Twitch. I've been doing a couple of level design live streams over there over the past week, and it's been really fun just chatting with you guys while working on the game and getting to show you the progress while it's happening. And I'm planning on trying to do this at least a couple times a week for the remainder of development. So if that sounds fun, Go to Twitch from the link in the description or probably up here somewhere. Drop a follow to get notified when I go live and ask some questions. Chat, maybe get your hands on a free Steam key? I don't know. I'll see you there. Thanks, that's it.